do you believe like the dogs believed? My goodness, a 3-0 start for your Washington Huskies coming off the second biggest comeback in Husky Stadium history. It was such a fun one last week. Thanks for joining us on the fourth Husky Tron from home. You cannot win a game in the first half. The dogs didn't look like they were going to win it in the first half. 21 to nothing. Utah doing everything they could, but how do you beat? 24 unanswered points in the second half. They had zero, a donut. Utah was posting a shutout through that first half, and then the defense completely stepped up. Cam Davis just looks different. He's doing stuff on the field, carrying not one, not two, not three. The entire Arizona defense is trucking forward. He's so much fun to watch. He's so explosive. Golden purple, always super important. Here's me pretending to put the helmet on. It doesn't. Go ahead and squeeze that thing down. <laughs> Pull it down. There we go. There we go. It's never coming off. That three letters, ZTF, might just turn into W-I-N for the UW Dogs tonight. You can't do that against Stanford, I guess, is the lesson learned here. They got down 24-3 at halftime against the Cardinal. And the defense picked it up a little bit, got the energy going in that fourth quarter. Trent McDuffie forcing the only turnover of the game. Just not able to get the same hype that they got last week. They didn't really get to Davis Mills at quarterback. You didn't see the pass rush really get to him or affect him much. And he was able to do kind of what he wanted. Stanford's offense came into this game averaging two times as many passing yards as rushing yards. So this was a different Stanford offense than we've seen before. And we thought that UW secondary, who was averaging the third lowest amount of passing yards in the nation, would be able to lock down those guys and kind of shut down that wide receiving core. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do that. What did you kind of see with that DB Stanford wide receiving matchup? Last week when we saw Utah play USC, it wasn't really the Utah Utes team we expected to see. They had some offensive linemen out because of COVID and they did, just didn't look like their stingy selves on defense last week against the Trojans. Clearly things have changed this week. They step their game up anytime they play the dogs. This is always a defensive juggernaut. The dogs, though, stopped short. You can't give the ball back to David Shaw and that methodical Stanford offense. Ran the clock down, and the dogs get their first loss of the season. They're 3-1. and one.